Hello everyone, Reza here. This video is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build a gallery with tabbed filters. We will build this entire experience from scratch. So let's begin. Gallery with tabbed filters. Let's see how we can design this experience step by step. I have a very simple work tracker SharePoint list. Includes different types of columns, text, choice, date, and person. To begin creating the app, in make.powerapps.com, under apps, I'll start with a page design and create a blank canvas. In the Canvas app, we will first connect to our data source, add data, connect to SharePoint, select an existing connection or create a new SharePoint connection, connect, plug in your SharePoint site URL, and pick the SharePoint list, in my case, work tracker that I want to connect in this app. Let's first begin designing this tab experience. These tabs are the status values of my work tracker items in my SharePoint list. Status in my scenario is a choice column. I'll select tree view. To create these tabs, I will be utilizing the gallery control and the button control. To use modern controls, in app settings, updates, ensure modern controls and themes are turned on for your app. So let's add the gallery first on the screen. Insert, I'll start with a horizontal gallery. The gallery, items property, here, this is where I want to create an array of data. This would be the tabs. Each array item will define a tab. For each tab, I have text, I have an icon, and I also have a color. So I want to define three properties. The items property, I'll set an array. My first object, I'll add three properties, title, I'll say all, icon, for now I'll keep it as empty and I'll show you how to enter the icon values later. And the third property, I'll call as color. Here I'll pick the colors from the color enums that are available. I'll pick royal blue for my first item. If I format the text, this is the properties for one of my tabs, which I can copy, put a comma, paste. And I'll create my second tab. Here I'm plugging in all my status values from SharePoint. I have a status called not started. I'll give this one purple color. On similar lines, I've gone ahead and plugged all my other tab values. My items array has been defined. Now let's design the gallery to show those values. The gallery layout, let's pick blank. I'll reduce the height of this gallery. I'll click on the pencil icon to edit the gallery. And in here, I will insert the button control. This button, I'll position it top left, increase the width and some height. If I select the first gallery item, this is the size of the template of the gallery. I can reduce it to match the button height and the button width. And if I select the gallery itself, I can increase its width so it fits all those buttons. Why is it showing five buttons? 
Well, because the items property of the gallery includes an array that has five records. Let's select the button. Buttons text property, I will set as this item dot, this will expose the properties that I set in the items property. I want the text to be the title. So you can see how all my title values are being displayed. The modern button control has an icon property. If I open this drop down, it lists out all the icons that are available for us to choose from. If you select any of the icons, the icon property will have its value. So you can check all the icon values that are available for you to choose from. Now coming back to the gallery's items property, within the object I have the icon property. This is where I'll start putting the icon values that I would like to show for this specific item. For not started, I'll pick circle. In progress, airplane. Completed, check mark circle. Blocked, dismiss circle. Back to my button control. The icon property, instead of hard coding, I will pick this item dot icon. Now you can see how each button has its own unique icon associated. The color of these buttons, the button control has a color palette property. The base palette color, I'll select as this item dot my property color. And there, it lists out all my colors. Now these buttons are a part of the gallery. The user has the option to select an item, in this case, a button in the gallery. And when the user selects the button, I want that button to be active. So I want its color to be highlighted. If it's not active, I do not want any color to apply. So this will act as a visual indicator to the end user around which tab is currently selected. To do this, the button has a property called type. It's currently set to primary. If I change it to secondary, you can see how the color goes away. So I would like to define this type property dynamically. And for this, button's appearance property will be if this item dot is selected, then you show the primary color, else button canvas dot appearance instead of primary, I'll pick the enum value secondary. If begins with a capital I. Done. Now the button I select. The user gets a clear visual indicator of the same. You have full flexibility to design how these buttons look like. If I select the button control, it has a property called border radius. Let's give it a border radius of 50. You can see how the borders are now rounded. But to make it look more like tabs, I'll set the border radius to zero. The button control has properties for border radius top left. This I will set to 50. Also border radius top right. I will set to 50. So now you can see how the buttons appear like tabs. The gallery has a property called template padding, that's five. You see the spacing between these items, that's the padding. If I set it to zero, now my buttons come closer to each other and this has the appearance of tabs. Now that my tabs are ready, next step 
is to create my gallery to show the data from my work tracker list. In my screen, I'll insert another gallery. This time I'll pick the vertical gallery. I'll position the gallery right below the tabs. The data for this gallery will come from my work tracker SharePoint list. The layout, I'll start with blank. This vertical gallery, I'll edit. So it highlights the template item. That's the first item of the gallery. I'll reduce its height. And in here, I'll start inserting controls to show the data. I'll add a text control. The text property, this item dot ID. So this shows the ID of the item coming from the SharePoint list. I'll insert another text control. This one to show the title. Let's insert another text control. This one to show the priority. So this item dot priority. This is a choice column. So priority dot value. I'll position it here. Another text control to show the person to whom the task is assigned to. This item dot assigned to. It's a person type column. Dot will expose all its properties. I'll pick the display name of the person. Next, I'll insert text here to show the due date of the item. And last, I want to show the status. For showing the status, I would like to show it in lines with the colors that I'm choosing for my tab. Gallery, I'll insert the button. That's the modern button control. Position it right here. Property border radius. I'll set it as 20. So it has those rounded edges. The text property of this button will be this item dot status. That's my choice column. So get its value. The color property for this button, I would like to reuse the same colors that I'm setting for my tab gallery. And I do that in the items property. I'll copy this. I'll go to the app object and I will use formulas. Here we can create named formulas, very similar to Excel. I'll give this a name called FX tabs is equal to, and I will paste the formula that I wrote earlier in the items property of my tabbed gallery. You need to end every named formula with a semicolon. Done. FX tabs. I can use this name. My gallery of tabs. Items property will be FX tabs. The button within my vertical gallery. The color palette. I'll set the formula as follows. Look up FX tabs. That's the array where the title matches the value of the status. So this item dot status dot value. So it will get that record. And from there, go pick the associated color. So notice completed is green matches in progress, yellow, not started purple and so and so forth. Assign to right next to it. I want to show the image of the person. Insert an image. I'll place the image right next to the name. Image property of the image control will be this item dot assigned to dot picture. And to make this a rounded image, the image controls height, width, 
and border radius is exactly the same. And there we have a perfectly rounded image. For the priority, I want to show an icon depending upon the priority value. These icons I'll upload in my app as images. I'll go to media and upload some images. Back to my gallery item. I'll insert another image control, position it right next to the priority. For the image property, I'll use the formula switch this item dot priority dot value. If the priority is critical, then you pick the image critical. That's the name of my image. If high, you pick the image high. Low, low, medium, medium. Those are my four priority values. To add a header to this gallery, I'll insert a container control, position it between the gallery and the tab. In this container, I will insert text. I'll call this ID. I'll copy and paste title. I'll keep doing the same for all my other columns. Done. I'll pick any text in this container. Control A. In one go, I can change. The styles for all these controls. Font, I'll select a particular font. Color, I'll make it white. And this container, its fill property, I will set as my gallery of tabs, which in my case is called gallery one. So the container's fill property will be gallery one dot selected dot color. So now if you notice, as I pick the tabs, the fill color of my container changes. When a tab value is selected, it should filter the data in the gallery. So if I pick not started, it should only show the items in my SharePoint list where the status is not started. When all is selected, it should show all the items. My vertical gallery, its items property, I will change as follows. Filter my SharePoint list called work tracker, where the status columns value is equal to my gallery of tabs dot selected dot title. I don't see any values when all is selected. We need to handle that. But if I pick any other status value, not started, in progress, completed or blocked, you can see how the gallery only shows the items where the status matches. To handle all, all we have to do is right here where I'm filtering, I'll add an or condition. The first condition is as is, comma, the second condition is my gallery of tabs dot selected dot title is equal to all. I'll close the or condition. I do not have any status called all. So this condition fails. And when it goes into the second condition, it checks to see if the selected tab is all. This condition succeeds. False or true results in true. So filter the list, the condition is true, meaning get me all the data. And that's exactly what it has done for the all tab selection. This is exactly how I built this screen. Gallery with tabbed filters. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.